So here we are in our sensors interface and we're going to take a look at the advanced sensor setup uh, within the security probe interface. So the first thing that we are going to do is that we're going to click on our dual sensor. Okay, and here we are uh, in the familiar uh, basic sensor settings. Now you'll notice uh, that we have this button here which says advanced mode and this brings up a whole list of advanced settings so I'm going to go right ahead and click that. Okay, and you'll notice that that button then changes to normal mode, and if you click it again, it flicks back to normal mode. So we'll go right back into the uh, advanced mode, uh, and you can see here, obviously, we have um, some options. Now, the first option uh, that we have here is the units, where it can be displayed in either Celsius or Fahrenheit. Uh, which is uh, fairly self-explanatory. Uh, we also have the uh, rearm, uh, which is right below it. Now, essentially, uh, what this means is once your sensor has gone into a high critical uh, and then it goes back into a normal uh, status, it has to remain in that status for at least two seconds before the sensor will actually display a normal status. Uh, that's what the rearm does. Reading offset, uh, essentially what this does is if your um, if your sensor displays at 29 or 30 degrees, uh, you can actually offset it by however many degrees you want. So if you offset it by 2 degrees and it displayed 30, it would actually display 32 degrees. Data collection type, this is for the graphing feature uh, within the interface. Uh, and we have the enable graph on and off. Uh, sensors URL. Now essentially what you can do with the sensors URL is you can actually assign a sensor a website. Um, so for example, um, if I actually type in here HTTP uh, and then we'll type in www.akcp.com what that will actually do is when you go to the map interface uh, you'll be able to click on the sensors URL and it will actually take you to that website and then below that you can have the option to open that in a current window or in a new, in a new window. Um, below this we have some other options uh, now, these all work on the same uh, type of principle. Um, what this essentially does is you can type in the amount in seconds uh, that it has to be in that status before it accepts that new status. So for example, if we type in the high critical here, that it has to go into high critical for at least 10 seconds before it will register that it has gone into a high critical status. The same can be said for the warning, normal, low warning, low critical and sensor error. You can uh, set them all yourself and set the units by inputting the value in those boxes. Uh, below that you have the enable calendar option. Now if we go ahead and click on you'll see that it brings up a calendar uh, option below and uh, this is quite a useful uh, tool. You can actually set the hours in the day and the days in the week in which you would like your sensor uh, to be active or inactive and you can just click around in these uh, blue boxes and they turn to grey and you can see that the blue stands for report and the grey stands for do not report um, and that's essentially all the uh, advanced options that you have there once you've made any changes that you want to uh, that you want to change um, you can go right ahead and click the save button and then the page will reload there we go and as you can see it saved the 10 second increment that we put in there it saved the URL uh, and everything that we that we made any changes to and that's all there is to it very very easy